2011 marks the 150th anniversary of the Civil War. The Battle of Buffington Island, which took place on a 1.5-acre stretch of land in Meigs County, is the largest and only significant battle site in Ohio. This battle was the end to Morgan's Raid, a 46-day-long raid through Tennessee, Kentucky, and finally Ohio, and this battle marked the farthest north any Confederate soldiers ever reached. I sat down with Margaret Parker, the president of the Meigs County Historical Society, who gave me a brief history of the battle and its significance to Ohio. Well, General John Hunt Morgan came north in July of 1863. Uh, there was a lot of anticipation that he was coming this direction, so the people were quite excited. He came into the west end of the county, and they burned bridges at Langsville. Then he proceeded on and on through Chester, burned a bridge at Chester, and on to um, Bashan, ending up up at Portland, at, near the Buffington Island, and that's where he camped overnight. At the same time, there were uh, Union forces coming in by boat. Um, they came, some of them came in over from Racine down, and uh, they met him up there the morning of July 19th, 1863, and that's when the battle took place. It was, uh, it lasted a few hours uh, up there at Portland, um, on the um, bottoms there, that uh, pretty much looks today like it would have back then, because there is a lot of open bottomland there. Uh, we really, you know, we just have to sort of surmise what it might have looked like. Uh, there were gunboats on the river and they were also firing on the uh, battle. Uh, of course it was a running battle. They didn't just stand. They, they were on horseback and uh, they uh, basically uh, fled up over back. Some of them came back in toward Bashan. Some of them went on up along the river through Reedsville. I believe that it probably stopped the invasion, maybe more of the South coming into the North. Um, had they succeeded, more than likely there would have been others that would have other that followed that would have came into the North, and Ohio would have been involved in the wars more than what they were. While the memorial site is less than impressive, this battle was an important victory for the Union. Without triumph, the Confederate soldiers may have been able to breach the lines and enter the North. However, with determination and fight, the Union soldiers, led by Edward H. Hobson, defeated the Confederates and Brigadier General Morgan.